Hi there, this is Sol again, and today we'll be talking about how to map your data. Now the one thing for you to keep in mind is that mapping is a one-time process that only needs to be done for data that exists in both WooCommerce and in QuickBooks at the time that you set up. So let's dive in and I'll show you how it works. To manage your mappings or set them up to, for the first time, you'll click on the Map tab right here on the left under your My Work sync in your WooCommerce admin. As you can see at the top of this page, you can choose the type of mappings to manage customer, product, payment method, and, if applicable, taxes. So, let's start with customers. Here on this page, you'll see a list of your WooCommerce customers on the left and a drop-down to select your QuickBooks customers on the right. Since we'll automatically sync new customers to QuickBooks when we're syncing their order, the only requirement for this page is to map any customers that are already in both WooCommerce and in QuickBooks. We can do this manually by simply choosing a matching QuickBooks customer here and saving it, just like this, and then hitting save. But if your customer's names, emails, company names match between WooCommerce and QuickBooks, our auto map tool right here could save you a lot of time. You'll choose the fields that match each other in WooCommerce and QuickBooks, and then click auto map. That's it. You can run the auto map multiple times with different combinations by clicking this box to only apply to unmapped customers. Now, let's move on to product mapping. This layout is very much the same to your customer mapping page. You'll see your WooCommerce products on the left and a drop down to select your QuickBooks products on the right. Do you have variations in WooCommerce? Just click here and we'll match those up as well. Just as with customer mappings, you can manually match your WooCommerce product to any QuickBooks product by selecting it in the dropdown right here, or you can use the auto map tool here and match them by name or SKU number in WooCommerce and QuickBooks. Simply choose the matching fields and then click auto map. Once your products are mapped, we'll be able to accurately sync orders to QuickBooks that contain these products and sync inventory levels for any mapped products as well. Now keep in mind that it's not required to map all of your products. If a product isn't mapped, that's okay. That just means that if we sync an order to QuickBooks containing this product, we'll use the default product in our settings for this line item in QuickBooks. Now, on to payment mappings. This page allows you to control where we sync orders paid by your different WooCommerce gateways to QuickBooks, setting a specific bank account for each WooCommerce payment gateway. We're compatible with any WooCommerce gateway you use, and you'll see one section of this page for each gateway you have activated. Simply enable the switch to begin syncing those payments. And then you can choose a payment method and a bank account to match them to. So we know where to sync this order in QuickBooks. The payment method is just a label, so it's not extremely important what you choose. And then the bank account will tell us what bank account in QuickBooks to record the payment for this order. Using a payment gate in WooCommerce where no payment is made in the real world, like a check or cash on delivery gateway, that's no problem. If you're syncing orders to QuickBooks as invoices and as payments, you can leave this off on this page and orders will sync to QuickBooks as an open invoice with no payment. The last mapping we'll cover is taxes. If you have automated sales tax in your QuickBooks company, you won't see a tax mapping tab, as we'll handle all of this automatically for you. If you see a tax mapping tab, you can simply visit it to see a list of the WooCommerce rates you've already set up and map those to the same rates in your QuickBooks company. If you're using Avalara, TaxJar, or another platform to automatically calculate your rates in WooCommerce, that's no problem. Just see our documentations in the section for taxes to read more about how we're automatically compatible with these platforms. And that's it for this video. As always, please feel free to open a support ticket if you have any questions or concerns. Goodbye!